Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first ever EU4 Let's Play. So today we'll be taking a look at Vijay Yanagar, and obviously we're going to be doing a very, very long Let's Play of Vijay Yanagar, see how good of an India I can become. But first, a quick rundown of the nations that I've played so far in this game, since this is my first EU4 Let's Play, and you guys might be interested to know how much experience I have, actually have with this game. Now, I'm going to say it's not a whole bunch of experience. I've only played like seven nations, probably less, maybe six, maybe five. I think it's six though, right. So first off, I play as Castile. Obviously, that's usually everyone's um, starter game is usually as Castile or Portugal, or France, or England. Usually one of these four. But England is actually difficult if you want to win the Hundred Years' War. But usually when you start off the game as England, you just sort of surrender main to France because it doesn't really matter. But I played as Castile, I got smashed, absolutely destroyed, and I lost interest in the game for a while. Then I came back to it about a couple of weeks later. I played, the, played as the Ottomans, then I destroyed everyone else, and got bored of it because it was too easy because, you know, pre nerf Ottomans was kind of broken, and they're still kind of broken now, but just not as broken. And then I played as Portugal. Right, Portugal, which is my first time lapse that I have on this channel as well. It's not the highest quality, but if you do want to check it out, I do recommend it. Um, basically, just because it's shameless self promoting. Yeah, anyways. So after playing Portugal, I played as France, which I have another time lapse of that I'm not going to put in the top right because that's way too much self promoting you for me. So yeah, playing as France, I had a random new world. That was the first time doing a random new world, and man, was it. Awful. Yeah, it was not a good random new world. I had like five colonial nations in it, and it was bigger than North and South America. It was garbage. Anyways, then I played as Morocco into Andalusia. I owned the entire new world, not randomly generated this time. But this um, that file was corrupted when I switched over to Cradle of Civilization. And so yeah, that really no longer exists, and I don't know how much development I had on that, but my best guess is that it wasn't as good as my next game, which was the Mamluks into Arabia, which I have another time lapse of, again, not the greatest quality as to what I can put out right now, but I do recommend it if you do want to give that a watch. And right now, I'm playing as England into Great Britain. The Hundred Years' War was kind of the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life because I tried it 15 times over. Ugh, sorry. I tried 15 times over trying to get the RNG to get Aragon to hate France enough to go to war with them and to get Burgundy to not hate you but they'll always hate France basically so you ally Burgundy, you ally Aragon and hopefully you can take down France nice and easily but we can't forget about the, hun uh, not the hundred years, the War of Roses the War of the Roses is kind of the second worst thing in the world to deal with because you kind of need an heir really quick if you want to win that hundred years war and not have a completely crippled country afterwards in fact, even if you win the Hundred Years War, and then someone gets placed on your throne, it can actually break your um, personal union over France, which makes it completely useless. So you need to get either an heir so, from someone in Ireland, you need to get an heir from Portugal, Aragon, or Burgundy. And yep, that was awful. But right now, after that, it's like the year, it's like almost 1700, my Great Britain game, and it's going pretty well. I haven't posted anything on Reddit about it yet because I do want to keep that as kind of a surprise because I think it's one of my best games so far for the uh, the pace that I'm going at. So anyways, we're going to be hopping right into Vichy Yanagar today and uh, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be doing perfectly or anything. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do well because usually I play on normal mode. Right now obviously you can see I'm playing on Iron Man. And, right, so I did try this before, I did try Janigar Let's Play, and I don't really want to go into what happened, but basically the video file didn't have the proper bitrate, so it was incredibly, incredibly low quality. It was at like 2,500 bitrate, which if you didn't know anything about video quality, that is garbage. So right now I'm recording at 100,000 bitrate, which is a lot better. Tons, tons better. Right, anyway, so... Yeah, I'm going to overwrite the, overwrite the save file. So, I've played enough of this game that I kind of know what to do when you're playing in Europe. 
or North Africa. I haven't played very far away from Europe. This would be my first time, and playing first time, you know, tough things is a lot more entertaining on a Let's Play. So I'm not doing this Let's Play to be like, wow, look at me, I'm fantastic at this game. I'm doing this Let's Play because it's like, wow, look at me, I'm going to mess up a whole bunch. Yeah, this is going to be good. It's going to be a fun time. Whoa, okay, there we go. Right. So I'm going to take a look at my ships right now. I have my five light ships. I can probably get those guys to go and protect trade in. I think my home node is Ceylon. Ceylon? Ceylon. I'm going to butcher these names for this entire series, and you're going to have to deal with it because I cannot pronounce anything. So, great. I can even mothball these ships, get a couple of dockets saved here and there. I don't know if I want to mothball all of these forts. Only of this one can't be mothballed, so it's just going to have a permanent garrison of 1,000, which is great. But, obviously the first thing I want to do is I'm going to want to attack Bahamanis. Now, Bahamanis has... No friends, I don't think they usually like to make friends. So obviously they have rivaled me, Gujarat, which is over there, and Jean Per, which is up there. Now as for me, who rivaled me? Ming? Why? But, what? But, but, you know what, whatever. I can't, I, I probably can't even rival them back. What, what is, it? look at the... Right, okay, so it looks like we're not going to be doing much with Ming. I can rival Gujarat and Bahmanis, which is great. I have three diplomats. I have one vassal. So I did spend about an hour in Vijayanagar when they, the first time I tried to record, which obviously didn't go very well. Okay, I'm going to bring these guys up over here, because we're going to go, basically we're just going to go straight into Bahamanis here. Because Bahamanis is probably just going to destroy us if we do not attack them first, because they're going to start eating up everyone around there, because they have a lot more land to expand into, and we're basically just going to destroy them. So, what's my force? What's my force limit? It's 21. And I can build up one guy over here as well. Can I have four uh, four divisors? Uh, not really, unless it's like okay. There's this one guy, but he's level two, so that's not really gonna happen. Reinforce speed, it's nice, but it's not worth the money. Inland maintenance modifier kind of pays for itself a little bit, but not that much because our maintenance is that's only gonna save me about half of a ducat while he costs an entire ducat. So I'd be only be I'd only be paying. Wait, no, it's not even half a ducat, is it? I'm spending how much on that? 525? Army maintenance minus 10% would be 0.52. Yeah, so I'd be saving 0.52 ducats and he costs an entire ducat himself, which means I'd be paying about 0 0.48 ducats on him. Which actually isn't that bad, but I don't need that power right now. So, before I unpause, I'm probably going to want to look for allies because he hates Gujarat. Andra and Vijayanagar. Now I know I'm already allied to Andra, which is not the greatest thing in the world because he's tiny, but whatever. Now, when it comes to Jean Pur, I may or may not want to be friends with him. He does not want to be friends with me. Fantastic. Malwa does. Uh, Garjat does not. I remember I did make an alliance with Malwa the last time around. And I think I should also... Royal Mary, my friend here. Royal Mary, my vassal. That looks like it might be... Alright, nice. Might be a good idea. So I do have a couple missions here. Obviously I'm going to want to reclaim this province here. And I'm also going to want to choose... I'm also going to want to choose a deity. So... When you're playing as an Indian nation and you have Hindu, if you don't know already, uh, for those of you who might just be starting out the game, kind of like I am, haven't played too much, haven't played in India at all. So what deities do is you can get, you can choose a deity. It's absolutely free, I'm pretty sure. Just select a deity and I think for maybe 10 years, maybe not, maybe less than 10 years. 
for a certain amount of time, you can you can use these free abilities, which is fantastic, which is why it's one of the preferred religions in the game, because there's also a core cost reduction one, I believe. Also, I'm guaranteeing Malabar, basically just so that it doesn't get eaten up by anyone around him. I think that's why, at least. So I'm going to want to start covert action in Bahamana so I can get those sieges much faster. I'm going to want to maybe see who else would like to be friends with me just to be sure. Okay, so yeah, kind of minor nations would like to be friends with me. But I already have 4 out of 4, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to revoke my guarantee of Malabar when I decide to go to war to, for Cochin. First of December. Uh, I think I'm going to bring this up to speed 4. Let's see exactly what we're doing. I'm just going to make sure I'm good. recording here, because if I wasn't, that'd be really embarrassing. Okay, definitely am. Nice. Right, so a lot of the time I end up pausing for no reason, and that's kind of me making sure that I'm not missing anything that I definitely shouldn't be. Now, I would expect to be missing too much. Ah, oh, state buttons, that's what I... I forget the state buttons. Right, so... I want a general, but also want military power, and I don't care if you're upset for a little while. What I want from you is I want your diplo power, from you, I definitely want your admin power because one of the provinces that I do want to take is, I think, this one because it has local goods produced plus four, which is fantastic. Because look at those gems, look at goods produced that is a ton, a ton of money coming from that one province. Uh, Malwa, you, yeah, okay, sounds good. Alright, so Goa, I think that's how that's pronounced, it's either Goa or Joa, for some reason doesn't like what's going on here. Oh, they're controlled by the, by the nobility and the nobility are upset. Well, that's just unfortunate because I'm not going gonna, gonna to fix that. So, although usually I like to save right around here, but obviously I can't exactly do that because, oh I didn't even equip that later. Okay, um, because we're in Iron Man mode, and usually I would be doing stuff. Oh, you are allied with Ceylon, and that is a problem. Right, so who do I don't? Who do I not really want as a friend here? <laughs> right, because like I'm not going to be giving either of these people land when they when I say I'm going to give them land, I'm not going to give them land. So I could give. I can give them both, but I do kind of want to keep Malwa as a friend here. Because Malwa, if you haven't noticed, has two vassals. Gondwana, and I think it's Undokhand. These are decent sized vassals, like say this one's a two province. So just whatever. Anyways, Gondwana is a four province, which is pretty good when it comes to vassals. And this guy's only five provinces, so having a four province vassal is pretty good. It's basically like a personal union. You basically have a country that's as big as yours. Now, when it comes to Ceylon here, I do have this one vassal, but he's probably just going to get squished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, basically, what is that, 5,000 men? Let me check. Military army is going to go to rivals. Bahamanis has 17,000 men. It's going to be a total of, I'm so bad at math, 22,000 men. 20,000 men, that's correct, yes. 17,000 plus 5,000, 22,000 men, okay. Yeah, so 20,000 men against my 21,000 men doesn't exactly look like the greatest odds. Also, I know that Bahamanas will throw every mercenary they can possibly fund at you, especially with this massive amount of money that they're getting from here. They can just fund mercenaries basically forever. So I do want to bring maybe Malwa into it. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will give Malwa one province. Maybe. And I'll call Andra in maybe? Which means, mm, <laughs> what do you have? You have four and one with no general.
Six and two. Sounds like it might be good. All right, so we're gonna be starting. We're gonna be waiting for the, the end of the next month to start what we're doing here. All right. So you're still only friends with Ceylon, which you didn't do last game, but I suppose it's okay. Now maybe not Andra, maybe just Malwa. If I need to, I can definitely call Andra in. But this looks like it's fine for now. So they'll be. Oh no! Uh, I was gonna say, am I an idiot? Kind of. What is it here? It's six v six. I'm just getting slightly better rolls. Or worse rolls sounds great. Okay, they are actually at low morale. Now they're not, but uh, hopefully we'll be doing just fine here. And I'm bad at this game. Great. Remember at the beginning when I was like, hey, I'm bad at this. Guess what? Really? That battle's not over yet? Alright, anyways. Remember when I was like, hey, I'm bad at this game? Well, hey, I'm bad at this game. That's fantastic, yeah? Apologies if I'm a little bit quiet at times because thinking about stuff kind of makes you stay silent for a little while. So when you're thinking about things, you're like, mm, commentary, maybe, but just not now, kind of. So obviously taking down Ceylon was going to be the greatest thing in the world. Ceylon can't even take their land, but they will white piece with me. I don't know if I want to white piece, though. I mean, they're kind of sieging down my country. I guess I'll have to, I'll have to kind of white piece. It's not going to be white piece, going to be taking all their money and war reps and, you know, stuff like that. Apparently not all the war reps in the world, though. Really? Okay, how about all your money and slept because of the Bahamas? Maybe I'll wait just one more turn for that. That's my capital. Come on, man. Come on. 7%, which means I basically just lost this because, you know, it's the AI. Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky. I didn't actually crushed by that. Fourteen percent though, that's that's where it ends. That's where, that's that's the that's the deadline. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, looking alright. I really just want the siege until they'll say sure thing to my demands. So hopefully if I can just get one more month. I mean there's they're basically just gonna oh even disease outbreak. Wow, I'm going strong on this one. Is Ceylon maybe? Minus two now? Come on. Come on. Ah, whatever. I just want to focus my forces. Alright, so hardly any manpower. I'm going to be crippled for manpower by the time that this war is over. But that's usually how starting wars go anyways. But I mean, we do have a significant numbers advantage. If they take my capital, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's not going to be fantastic. So the two, two provinces I do want to take there. There and there, I'll give that to them. Yeah, basically, I'll just give that to them. Gondwana is... Not exactly following the control of Malwa. Come on, I can't actually just be losing that right now. Yeah, there you go. Man, I'm, I must have missed something, because this is not going the way I really wanted to. Like, I, I really must have missed something. I did my previous game, that was just so much better than what I'm doing right now. Manpower is absolutely crippled. Treasury is just going right down. This one's ability to lose... Really, you're gonna do this to me? 
Point of five legitimacy is a humongous hit when you only have 88, and you're going up by 0.4 every year. Now, losing stability, also the worst thing, one of the worst things in the world, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of that stability, which is a shame. I hate having to lose stability. Because I don't really want to buy it back up. That's a lot of points. That's a ton of points, but I think I'm going to have to do that. I have no siege pips on absolutely anyone, so that's convenient. Right, they're trying to siege back their capital down in the center. We do still have a significant number of advantage, which is great. I don't suppose I can go any further. I can, but I'm not sure I want to go too far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Or exhaustion's down now that I had a whole bunch. Actually, I must have had at least three, because now it's back down to one. So they're heading over that way. They're going to be going towards uh, Bidar over time. Over time, not right now. I guess they have to siege their way there. Uh, it's not like I can really go anywhere. I don't have the war goal, which kind of sucks. But I'm using that down right now. So in the future, my plan is kind of to take down Bahamanis and then scoop up all the people down here. Now, say loan is going to be a little bit of a problem because I have a peace with them. I mean, I have a truce with them. That's not great. But I think I should be able to manage just fine. If they happen to ally anyone, because if they happen to ally ally anyone, then obviously I can just use uh, my vassal to eat up all their territory, and then I'm going to be vassalizing Cochin and eating up all the territory here. So I have two vassals, and then I can eat those vassals up using diplo power instead of just straight up admin power. Because I'm going to be using that in uh, Central India. I think this is Central India, yeah. Regions, Western India, Bengal. I cannot read that on this side. Deccan. Deccan? Deccan? Me trying to pronounce names, but absolutely not because I'm garbage at it? Yeah? Great. If we can get the siege down in the next. If I get the siege down on 35, I'm gonna be really happy. Okay, maybe not. Water shortage. This is the highest we're gonna be going now. This is the fastest we're going, this is the highest we're gonna be going, and that's the word goal right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is where. Basically, we just sort of crush them. But before we do that, I don't have 15,000. What am I going to do? What am, I, what am I trying to do here? You won't be able to get that, right? Please don't get that. Please don't get that. They're getting that. And they're going right over here. No, 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 no. Hold, hold on, my good sir. How are you even... What? What? No. What? No, really? Well, it looks like it's... I was about to say, wow, it looks like it's in my favor. <laughs> Should have been in my favor. That was just sort of weird. Uh, I guess I'll be hopping back in to help out. Come on. Okay, there's that solid victory. It looks like... Bahamanis is not having the greatest time in the world. All right, only minus nine, and I'll be able to take those two provinces. And right, we need to recapture their their capital. I don't know where you think you're going. I just I, I kind of don't know where you're where you're going there. I can crush you now. That'll be free war score. Great, and that's a sack wave. Do you know why I keep like shift consolidating? It doesn't really make that much sense. I know you declared war on Bahamanis. Wow, that's just really depressing for Bahamanis now. They're just sort of getting wrecked. As long as you do not take this province, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, Cochin. Or Andra, not Cochin. Cochin's down here. So Andra will be absolutely fine as long as you do not do not take this province. Because if you do, I'll be very angry and it might just have to declare war on you, which would suck for both of us. They have a lot of men, so I don't know. 
These three provinces would be absolutely fine if I could take uh, Warangal as well. That would be even better, but Badmani Ruler is a fierce negotiator, which is one of the problems that I'm having right now with taking their stuff. So I just make them give their province to, to, uh, to Andra. And Andra will not really do it a war, right? Because they can't actually core any of the land that we're taking. It would be nice. It would be the nice thing to do. I think they might just like me more for it, which always sounds like a good time. Bahamut is only having like what is that? Six thousand troops. That's like not really even a fighting force. Less than six thousand troops. And as I say that, here I am with. 5.4 thousand troops and no manpower. But hey, I'm not the one with all the with all the mercs. So I can guarantee you he has mercs, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, there you go. Look at that mercenaries. Six. Okay, you know you're having a bad time when you literally, literally cannot even siege that down. Can't even begin to siege that fort down because you don't have enough men. So basically, I'm literally just riding off the back of what Malwa can do for me here. Okay, Bah Bahamanus, are you just heading into Andra? Yeah, that's not a problem to me. That's mm, that's fine. If oh, that's a battle. Yeah, he's got wrecked. <laughs> All right, that's that's a thing, I guess. I have the war goal. I'm basically just getting free war score at this point. So I'm just gonna set it to speed five and see what I can do here. Frame rate drops are gonna happen. Oh, back to speed 4. And we can take a lot more now. So I think I just want to take that. What's this coalition just up? Just behind us? Let's play the game. How big of a coalition can I get without actually exploding as a country? You lost that, didn't you? Of course you did. Guess I'll be taking that back for you. Oh, no. Come on, man. Come on. That's just... That's just not even fair. That's just not even fair to me. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh. Occupied by Shanda. And I can't even give that to Malwa. Can I... This is just stupid. Come on, really? I can't. I, I, I can't even give this to Malwa, which is the person that wanted it. So I'm going to decrease their trust because I, I can only give it to their vassal because I can't give it to them for some reason because they won't be. They won't like. They won't take it back or anything. I'm just like, yeah, no, it's fine. We'll just like keep it. Even though the vassal. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. Now, I could just end this war, except for the problem that Malwa will hate my guts. If Malwa's gonna hate my guts, I may as well just take more land. It's gonna cost me 196 to core. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I may as well just do it. May as well just. What's that? No, I don't want that. Like, you may as well just do this at this point, because it's not like I can. It's not like I can force someone in a different war to give me what I want. So, sorry Malwa, that's just sort of how it's going to happen. And I uh, hope you don't hate me, but here goes. Whoa, we just has a victory. Fantastic. So, got a whole bunch of provinces here. Look at my name, it has grown. Now I also get to have that reconquest on my stuff, of course. Growing corruption is my favorite thing in the world after you freshly conquer someone. So now we have more forts, now we have a larger area, and lots and lots of money from diamonds. So this is gems, but it says diamonds of Golconda, which means boom, manpower recovery speed, boom, boom, new mission. Now I do want to. That's Cochin. That sounds fantastic. Also, I'm going to want to check my 
Recording time right now, make sure I'm not going way over recording time. We're actually right at that wrapping up point, which is really convenient that I just looked at it at exactly about 30 minutes. And so, after cleaning a whole bunch of stuff about Hamanas before I stop building this spy network, and I'm going to start uh, proving releases with little, 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 little words. Proving relations with outraged countries is what I was trying to say, but too quickly. Anyways, I hope you had a fantastic time watching this first episode of Vijayanagar, trying to form the Indian nation, which I completely forget what it's called. Super, super embarrassing. What is that called? Uh, form Barat? Yeah, I suppose it's Bharat. Right, so we're going to form Bharat eventually in this game. Hopefully we can become powerful enough. I'm not... Uh, okay, I kind of just want to... Okay, hold on. A whole bunch of stuff is happening. I'm going to the great power, which is fantastic. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. We're going to pick up the next episode with all of this interesting stuff so we can go over it with more time. So... That's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a fantastic day.